Leanne Bedasimose Simpson is a renowned Indigenous scholar, writer, and artist. Her lecture is entitled, A Short History of the Blockade, Giant Beavers, Diplomacy and Regeneration in Nishnabewin. I want to spend some time tonight thinking about this practice of the blockade in a different way, in an Anishinaabe way. I want to share the brilliance of my relative, the beaver. According to the Edmonton Journal, you all have between 1,300 and 1,600 beavers living in the city. I think we have the glorious nature of the North Saskatchewan River to thank for that, which means we have the brilliance of the beaver among us tonight. In colonial minds, the beaver is nature's engineer, the earliest forester, the first hydrologist, the original industry. No one has had more impact on the environment than the beavers, except for humans, the Jaganash boasts. In 1975, the beaver became an emblem of Canada as a symbol of its sovereignty because the first Europeans in indigenous territories saw the beaver not as a relative, but as a money-making attraction to supply the continent with nifty felt hats. 200 years of making beavers into accessories led to their near extinction, and now beavers are mostly known to us as a nuisance and an inconvenience. But this indigenous land, this indigenous water, these indigenous bodies house centuries of oral literature and embodied practice that know different. In many versions of the Anishinaabe seven ancestor teachings, beavers, or in Anishinaabe Moan, Amik, plural Amikwak, represents Niwakewin, the practice of wisdom. I want to think about that for a moment. Out of all of the beings that make up life on this planet, to my ancestors, Amikwak embodied the politics and the ethical practices of wisdom. Amikwak build dams, dams that create deep pools and channels that don't freeze, creating winter worlds for their fish relatives, deep pools and channels that drought-proof the landscape. Dams that make wetlands full of moose, deer, and elk food, cooling stations, places to hide calves in, and muck to keep the flies away. Dams that open spaces in the canopy so sunlight increases, making warm and shallow aquatic habitat around the edges of ponds for amphibians and insects. Dams that create plunge pools on the downstream side for juvenile fish, gravel for spawning and homes and food for birds. And who is the first back after a fire to start the regeneration? Amikwuk. Amik is a world builder. Amik is the one that brings the water. Amik is the one that brings forth more life. Amik is the one that works continuously with water and land and plant and animal nations and consent and diplomacy to create worlds, to create shared worlds. Prior to contact with white people, it is estimated that Kinakong, the home of the turtle, was home to between 60 and 400 million beavers. That's three to five beavers for every kilometer of stream or river. That is a beaver in nearly every headwater stream in North America. Biologists call the beaver a keystone species, a species so important to an ecosystem that without it, the ecosystem would collapse. A beaver dam, a blockade. Life-giving, generative, affirmative, a world-building place governed by deep relationality, an expansive, fantastical sharing of space, a network of life generating blockades that built and maintained the ecosystem that the Anishinaabek lived as part of for thousands and thousands of years. Uh -huh. 